I like your hoodie though. Like, is well. Oh, this mean. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what it mean. First, it mean business over friends, I believe, and it's a it's a black dude that make this. You know what I'm saying? This is like a, uh, one of his symbols. His name Edward Ark. He got a uh, store in River Oaks. He had okay. two, but he got uh, one now, like a big store. And they do custom print. Uh, I get my shirts and shit made there. Right. Uh, and I support black owned right. businesses. So it's dope. You know what I'm saying? And it's affordable. And not just that, like it look good. You know what I'm saying? Like some people just make clothing lines and just think, like, oh, I'm going to slap my shit that I think wrong there. Uh, like you can have your influence, but it's still about the masses, what people gonna respect, what people gonna like. So I actually like dude shit. He a humble person, you know what I'm saying? I spend my money with him though. Like good dude. So shout out Edward Ark or whatever yeah. if I'm on that shit. You know what it's I'm saying? Good out. I shout like out it. Uh, Edward. I got I got a few jumpsuits and then like in uh my shit, like me, featuring Bill Well, it's Bill D song, but it's uh featuring me and my homie Chris G. I got the red polo on, you know what I'm saying? And it's like people are like, man, what's that? Like what design is that? And like that shit was like, you go check fam store out, you gonna get some nice shit for you the low. Stuff. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like yeah. everybody don't be on it because it's, it's, it's black shit, owned. You know what I'm saying? Be up and down with that shit. I yeah, yeah. Cold, See, I wasn't even up on them. Like, you got the trunk, cold, yeah, bro. yeah. So I and I respect like you could see when a nigga done been through some shit behind mm -hmm. his dream and people just look at like, oh, you know, he got a store now or you know, you know, probably people who know him or whatever. And it's like, motherfuckers, I just talked about this shit on my uh my Instagram timeline. Uh, you know, the snap shit. And it's like people see you once you got a buzz or once you successful at what you're doing. And they don't know where you came from. And that's the and they don't know where you came from. Like this man just told me he was, you know, out the trunk of his car. Like, I didn't even know that. Like I really bought it because I liked it. Not cause he had a full store or none of that shit. Like it, I could I could respect it. You know what I'm saying? That's another the, the first shirt that I bought, my little cousin was rocking. It's like a it's a gun. It's a revolver and it's colorful, but the uh end of the gun tied up. So I didn't know what that meant, but it was slick. And I, and I was sure it was some stop shooting type shit. So just so happened, I'm in the mall one day. I see the shirt. I'm like, damn, this the shirt look cuz got. You know what I mean? I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Who make me like, man, this, you know, my shit, whatever, who out the bam, is it's, it's stand for save your generation. You know what I'm saying? Basically stop shooting what I already thought. And on top of that, it was slick. Like, right. you feel me? So it's, man, I support black people, man. I support my own, you know, skin color. Um, yeah, and especially if you dope like me, right. you know what I'm saying? If niggas dope, I fuck with you. I'm dope, people fuck with me. Like, I'm not gonna sell you a dream, I'm not gonna kick you some shit that I can't, you know, invest my time, energy, or money into it, you know what I'm saying? So, I be feeling like a lot of people do compromise integrity and dignity for a lot of times temporary fame or temporary clout, you know what I'm saying? So, you can't relate to what I'm rapping then. It's probably not for you. If you're not intrigued by what I'm rapping or want to understand where I come from, it's not for you and I don't knock it. Some niggas rap, I don't feel it. I can't feel it. You know what I mean? So I don't knock you, but if you done been through it, you know, it's self-explanatory. Like, should be more so, like I say, mean and more to me, you know what I'm saying, that people will ever know. Like, and again, soul beats and backwards, soul feelings, you know what I'm saying, where everybody trying to get away from, everybody trying to be cold-blooded killers and animals and savages and it's like how many savage rappers do we have like it's, it's enough savages like, you know, niggas could have been compromising you know integrity and dignity and morals and shit for you know temporary cloud of fame and shit you know everybody funny niggas everybody you know nobody give a fuck you know what i'm saying like niggas ain't got nothing to lose you feel me so it's just do i want to be a clown or do i want to be me and still get what i deserve you know what i'm saying like, a clown gonna take me it might take me a month to get what i want you know what I'm saying? But then it's gonna take six months to leave as opposed to really grinding and being myself. It might take six years for me to bubble. But that shit gonna last a lifetime 